Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a mystery lot that I purchased from an online auction and this came from Creative Creations by Denise. I think she made these. She made a, a couple of different bags with different um, fabrics and uh, filled them up with jewelry and sold them as jewelry lots and look at this little charm here it's beautiful you can remove this one and put it on a on a bracelet because it has its own little lobster clasp i also purchased some individual items that i put on and i'm not sure if she combined my items with the jewelry lot or kept it separate because i also have this other little bubble wrapped package here so let's see what is in the mystery lot so inside of the bag there's a big um, ziploc bag and then a bunch of other little baggies inside i appreciate that because um it'll prevent you know all the tangles and let's see uh, there's a note here there are six bracelets 14 necklaces three bracelets three pack stones total of 26 so i'm not sure those were her notes and our first item is a memory wire choker I love this one already it has like that um, it looks like tiger's eye let me see it is cold it could be and this is a pendant We're starting off good. Okay. Here is a Alex and Ani style bracelet. I don't think it's Alex and Ani, but it has that signature shape where you pull and then wear it and you can adjust it and there are three charms here it's a music note a microphone and this one says where words fail music speaks this is really nice also uh, this one feels like glass uh, faceted purple tone glass beads also some like bronze and then this one has all of the little rhinestones around it no no Gucci There's another bracelet and I do see it home marked. Toggle clasp, lucky brand. It's that um, bow turquoise in that antique gold finish and some stars on the back. Okay, so she wrote it down here. Creative Creations by D. So, oh. 
Okay, guys. Uh, I think this was a mistake. I don't know if this is part of her lot. But I have a bunch of like tiger's eye chips here. And they're marked. Um, this is Howlite. They're individually priced. And then tourmaline. We have tourmaline. And then it says here ten ten dollars for the lot, I guess. I'm not sure if this is what what she was selling it for and it didn't sell, so she put it in the lot maybe. I think maybe that's why there was this little note here. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, this looks like a vintage piece. And it's white plastic. I don't think this is, it feels a little bit heavier. Let's see. I'm not sure. Definitely vintage because of the clasp. It's a barrel clasp. Gold and white. Mm. This one is a very heavy long necklace and it does have a, a tag here. A T. I'm not sure what that is. If anybody is familiar with this brand, uh, please drop it in the comment section. Very nice. This is Lucite. Could be. Okay, I have another. I think it's a scarf necklace. Wait, if you can remove these, then it probably is. With two dangles, teardrop rhinestones, and also these little plastic ones. It does have a lobster clasp. It's the same one as this other one here. I'm not sure. I do love the sparkles on this. Ooh. There's two necklaces in this bag. It is in very good condition. LC. I mean, this is like practically new. And it has a faceted little bead here. And this one also has facets on it. This feels like plastic. But very beautiful and delicate. And those rose tones. Like a blush pink. And then I have another necklace here. This one's a double strand. Also from the same maker, LC. Could it be Liz Claiborne, maybe? Lobster clasp. And then one of them is shorter than the other and it has a 
little pearl here and a heart in a sort of a nude color. Okay, this one is still on the card. This came from Kohl's, $18 Sonoma Life Style. And it has um, three strands and a fuchsia. And this is like a wine. like this okay 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 there's a little note on this one so let's let's read this one it says cremation ash necklace irish Celtic, Celtic knot in circle stainless steel. So this is a stainless steel um, necklace. It has a lock there. So I guess you could open it and put the um, cremation remains and carry it with you. The um, the chain looks like it's new, like it has never been worn at all. So that's a good sign because uh, I, I don't wanna open this and you know, I hope it's empty, is what I'm saying. Okay, here's another one. Another necklace. Oh, this one's nice. I, it looks like, like a, um, Enameled or not not enameled it um what is that called? Like a catalyst and these are uh, like pieces of shell I'm guessing. It looks like abalone to me. I'm still wondering about that one, guys. This one is a statement piece. It looks like a Chico. Let's see what it is. T-R-E with, with a little accent on top. S-K-A with another something on top of the letter A. Tr Tresca. So we have these um, kind of like a matte silver tone um, rings. And some of these rings have little charms and these are plastic with a cheetah print and then i have these like a 
bronze colored shiny beads. This is very heavy and very unique. I've never seen a necklace like that. I've seen similar ones, but they're like from that brand Chico's. Like very big statement, bold pieces. This one is from Chaps. There's a tag. And we have some full pearls that are kind of like an off-white, like a taupey color. And these little rondelles, I do see one stone missing here. A little rhinestone missing. And I think it was only in that one. Here's another bead necklace, one of those infinity ones. It does not have a clasp. This one does have a tag here, it says Nine West. And some of these are glass. I think the pink ones are, are glass. And some of the citrine colored ones. I do have some little wooden discs here. And these little metal squared beads. There are four more bags left, guys. Ooh, I see blue over here, blue and gold. Like a cobalt blue. It's tangled in another, another necklace here. This bag had these two. So let me try to get them untangled. There's these triangles. Also that um, matte gold. It has two spring ring clasps, big ones. Maybe you can remove the extender or you can take this part off and then add it to another one. Maybe a, like a blue, a blue extender or I don't know. But you know, I, I think you'd like to wear this one close, closer to the neckline. I wouldn't make that one longer is what I'm saying. This one is also blue. So I guess that's why they were in the same bag. Um, cat's eye. And it's articulated. It has a... C-A? I think that's what it is. It's very clean. This one, I think this one might be Liz Claiborne as well because it doesn't say the name. Oh wait, Anne Klein. That's what I meant, Anne Klein. This looked familiar, the little lion and the lion's mane and this reminds me of the Swarovski necklaces the mesh um, rope and look at all of these charms here the rondelles they have um, rhinestones 
and I don't see any of them missing. Very sparkly. Very nice. I like this lot so far, guys. There's a lot of brand names here. Here's another AK. Could be the same one, Ankheim. Maybe that's why they were in the same bag. All this jewelry was um, well organized and Also, I don't see anything missing, and you can move this around. Very nice. Ooh. Steve Madden. Another choker here with an antique bronze look to it. I think this is Howlite. Um, let me see. I feel cold, but it could be the, the bronze. Okay, so um, they're plastic imitation Howlite. I guess if they were real, it would be much heavier than it already is. It has a lot of weight to the to this piece. I do like all these little discs. And then this bag has one, two, three, four, five, six, six bracelets. I have a um, all these little panels here shell panels, stretch bracelet, and they're kind of like overlapping each other. All of the panels are different. And then I have this mesh um, black bracelet with a knot and a cuff bracelet dolphins hinged in very pristine condition there's no wear whatsoever on this and this has a tag here 1690 Maurice's with a little leaf um, Charm. Two, three, four, six strands, and it's magnetic. Very nice. Oh, I have this one, another one of these uh, memory wire multi strand also i feel like these are some of these are natural stone uh, i see some wood beads some ceramic very fun and colorful and also a copper tone hinged bracelet And then I will open this um, this one in, in my next video. Thank you for watching.